It's very, uh, very exciting for us because uh, this is uh, the culmination of a lot of work that um, we've been doing at IPA Social Works over the last um, 18 months, really. Um, and uh, there's a lot of, I'm glad to see a lot of very friendly faces in the audience of uh, the group that have been involved. Because IPA Social Works, I'll talk a little bit about it in a minute, is a real collaboration between lots of different organisations, lots of different people, a lot of which are represented here today. So, uh, and we're delighted today that there's an exclusive preview of our guides, our measuring, not counting guides, uh, which will basically be available from tomorrow morning. Um, I am uh, Stephen Mayer. I'm the chair of IPA Social Works, which is the group that we created uh, about 18 months ago. I'll talk a little bit about the genesis of that in a minute. Uh, also the CEO of MBA and the chairman of the Marketing Society. And again, that's very important because this is very importantly a collaboration between the client community, the agency community, and the research community. And uh, that's one of the reasons this is a unique uh, development and project. Um, what we're going to do today is I'm briefly going to talk a little bit about IPA Social Works, where it's come from, what it is, what it means. Um, then I've got this remarkable, uh, star-studded, illustrious group of people around me uh, who uh, I, I'm going to take quite a long time uh, telling you who they are because their CVs basically go on for you know, a few years. Um, basically, I've got Professor Paddy Barwise. Um, most of these people don't really need introductions, but let me just give an introduction anyway. Emeritus Professor of Management and Marketing at London Business School and the Chairman of WITCH. Um, so Paddy is going to talk a little bit about <coughs> IPA Social Works before, um, uh, before we come into James Devon, uh, the Planning Director of MBA. Simeon Duckworth, uh, Global Head of Business Planning at Mindshare, the WPP media operation. They're going to talk through the seven key messages, which is the, 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 the meat, if you like, of the guide that we're going to be talking about today. Then we've got a panel discussion. Paddy is going to chair that discussion. Uh, he has, very importantly, Ray Pointer, very, very key author of our guide. Probably everyone knows uh, the author of the handbook of mobile uh, market research, as well as online uh, research and social media research. Um, and, and, and Ray, again, uh, I could spend, you know, quite a few hours going through his CV, and as someone said earlier on, uh, if I wait um, till the end of this uh, uh, um, presentation, there'll be another few things to add to his CV. So uh, that's, where he, that's who he is at the moment, anyway. Uh, we also have Fran um, Cassidy, um, who's uh, the founder of the Cassidy Partnership and uh, one of the directors of the Marketing Society. Uh, Fran is another one of the authors of the guide, alongside Ray, as well as Simeon, who I mentioned before. We're also joined on the panel uh, by another major contributor towards the guide and, and our whole IPA social works group. This is Jenny Burns. Jenny is the group uh, communications, brand, and social media uh, director of RSA, uh, the financial service insurance company. So we've got a fantastic representation here today of lots of uh, uh, wonderful people who represent across the whole uh, uh, industry, as I say, whether it's agencies, clients, or the research community. So, um, this is a picture of the Wolsey restaurant. Uh, it's the, the, I'm sure most of us know because we also work in this kind of crazy advertising uh, digital kind of world. Um, obviously, being at the IPA and being a cliche, I had to start the presentation with something to do with having lunch. Um, the reality is that the sort of genesis, really, of IPA Social Works does actually go back to a lunch, as indeed a lot of things in our industry seem to at some stage. Um, they do continue on that uh, vein as well, as it seems to me. But I remember sitting about 18 months ago uh, in the Woolsey with Paul Bainsfair, the Director General of the IPA, Nigel Gwillem, who I don't know if he's with us tonight, who's uh, Head of Digital um, at the IPA. And we talked about social media measurement, as, as you do. You know, every client wants to know how to measure. Every agency wants to know how to measure. Everyone basically is asking the question, how much should I invest? Uh, what should I do? Uh, you know, how do I know if it's getting ROI? All those kind of questions. And so we kind of semi sort of hatched the plan and said, okay, well, hang on a minute. You know, let's create this organization and let's make it collaborative and let's work across all the different groups. And, you know, clearly that was, if you like, the, the very sort of acorn at the beginning. But I just wanted to uh, emphasize the fact that the cliches are true. Everything starts with a lunch in the Woolsey, basically. Um, but more importantly, let's go back to uh, the real causes of this, because uh, if you like, that's the, uh, that's the, that's the equivalent of um, 
the, 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 if you like, the, the final germ of, of this group. But what it all comes down to, of course, is, is it's very much summed up by this quote here. Social media spend to surge by 128%, but less than a fifth of CMOs can confidently measure impact. And that was just last September. Um, now, the other, the other example here we've got from the Fournay's marketing group is 58% place likes, tweets, clicks, and CTR in their top five marketing ROI KPIs. And as we know, they're not, that's not ROI. So even though we all know that social is unbelievably important, and we all know that it's taking over the world, and we all know that it's not really ROI, there's still people out there who can't really say, this is how I measure it, this is what I should spend. And we're very much behind the curve as an industry, and that's really what IPA Social Work's trying to do, is get up the curve to make sure that we are in a place where we can truly measure um, and we can understand the impact, the business value of social media. So, in a, in a nutshell, we've got more numbers to count, but not enough robust measurement. I'm very keen to see that Les Venet is in, the, is in the audience today, who wrote the long and the short of it there with Peter Field. I mean, that's a fantastic example of um, some of the work that's happened in our industry and the IPA obviously driving that forward, which is a remarkably strong, robust piece of work, which is all about how you measure communications and advertising and digital and those kind of things. And really what we're saying is, despite the fact there's this kind of world of these, these new, the, 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 these, this data that's just coming at us, and all these numbers that we can count, and all this stuff that's coming at us from all different places around social. Despite the counting, as we say, there's not enough measuring going on. And the kind of robustness and the rigor that we know happens uh, in lots of different areas of our industry needs to basically happen in this area. So, this rich body of case law that we know from IPA uh, effectiveness awards over 30 years, the Marketing Society, which we're very proud to be part of over, over 30 years, some fantastic cases there. The MRS, um, excellent cases, a, a body of, of, of case law of, of what works and what doesn't work. And fundamentally, most of these case, most of this case law and most of these examples don't really apply to social in the depth with the rigor that we'd expect. So we need to step up as, step up as an industry and we need to start measuring, not counting. And if you like, that's fundamentally the conclusion we come to. And that is the basis on which IPA Social Works exists. That's its, that's its, whole, that, that's its whole raison d'etre. It is all about making sure that we as an, an industry, we start measuring and, and not counting. So there are three planks, really, to IPA Social Works. It's, it's all about providing a definitive guidance, as I say, to the role that social media can play and how to measure its effectiveness in ROI. The... Important part about it is it is a uniquely collaborative approach, and we're not aware of anything else actually in the world, and we'd be very happy to be challenged on this point, where, where in fact there is a, this, this genuine collaboration, as I was saying earlier on, between the agency community, the client community, the research community. It's also very importantly supported by the platform. So we have Twitter and we have Facebook who are sponsors and support of this and are part of our steering group, steering group as well. But they're there very importantly as representatives of the platforms. They're not there to push a particular agenda because the whole basis of IPA Social Works is we as an industry create best practice. That's what this is about. It's not about a particular platform or a particular client or a particular agency group deciding that they're going to create their own product that they're going to try and sell. What this is about is everyone looking at the whole industry, looking at the whole community, looking at all the data and providing something that's definitive across uh, the whole of the industry. The London Business School through PADI obviously is very important endorsement behind this as well. So we're very lucky that we've got this fantastic group of people who are supporting us and turning us into a genuine collaborative group. The three planks of um, the work that we're doing then as IPA Social Works is first of all case law. I talked about that before, it's proven the IPA effectiveness, it's proven with the Marketing Society and the MRS. And what we've actually done, uh, as well as the case law, is we've gone on an events program over the last 18 months, going out there, talking about the case law, talking about what we consider to be the changes uh, in terms of social strategy, because clearly we're in an industry here that is literally, as we know this, and I'm going to state the obvious here, but literally every minute, every day is changing. So we've got to constantly stay on top of that. So it's, you know, there's no, this is... What we're going to be talking about today is if at this moment in time what our thinking is. But we know that tomorrow, the day after, it's going to keep changing. But, you know, there's a point at which you have to take a view. But this IPA Social Works is an organisation that keeps developing. So we've got these events that keep going out there. We keep talking about what's important, what's changing. 
And the third area is the guide, and that's really the bit that we're going to be talking about today. Now, just on the case law, we've actually reviewed 160 cases uh, over the last 18 months. And what's happened there is these cases have come about because we've been saying on, through the IPA, through the MRS, through the Malting Society, please uh, give us some cases, even if they're not fully worked through, and we can, we can evaluate them and peer review them. We have peer reviewed 35, and we've ended up with 13 of them that, in our view, prove definitively the business case, the business value, the ROI on social. And we've deliberately been incredibly tough and rigorous, as you'd expect. I mean, I, I think, you know, no one wins an IP effectiveness award or multi society award without going through massive rigor. It's not easy to do that. That is the whole point of this. It's not easy. It shouldn't be many. And it's not because there isn't fantastic work in those other 150 cases. There is. There are fantastic campaigns there. It's just that we couldn't see the absolute causal relationship, basically, between that social work and that ROI. It doesn't mean that in the six months, 18 months, that won't be the case. But what we're doing is deliberately applying that same kind of rigor. Because unless we start up there with that same kind of sense of what absolutely is, is the best practice and what is that gold standard, then uh, the program will fail. So that's very important that we keep those standards. The, the case studies at the moment are on the IPA website, the MRS website, and the Marketing Society website. I'm not going to go through them. We have some representatives of those organisations today, but suffice to say we've got some fantastic cases, some great brands, and, and I'd suggest you know, anybody who's got some time, go on the IPA, either of those websites, look at the cases, read through them. Uh, there's some brilliant cases there of, of, of how social has delivered business results. IBM is is another one that we've just added, and that's going to go on the website very soon. So we've got the, there's the 13 cases we've got. As I say, there's an events program. Our aim is to publish three case studies each quarter, and we will share and discuss the implications. We've already spoken at the Adaptathon last year. We've got the MRS conference again this year, and we had it last year. Uh, we talked at Silicon Beach. We talked at ASMR, Social Media Week, a whole range of different platforms. And we'll continue that program because, again, you know, this is clearly a social iterative program. This isn't just this is the way it is, this is the answer, and then we move on. It's constantly evolving, and we've got to stay abreast of that. And then the third area, which we're really going to talk about today, is the how-to guide. Available from 9.30 tomorrow is going to be, and I see there's a little um, uh, a flyer on the seats there, which is very much a rough summary of some of the seven points we're going to be talking through. There's going to be two guides. There's going to be a short guide for people like me, basically, who need to read something really, really quickly because I am not you know, an expert researcher like a lot of our illustrious panel here today. And then for the really, really clever people, uh, there is basically a specialist, a more academic view for research practitioners, which is a much longer version. And you know, this is a massive tome. This is a phenomenal amount of work that's gone into this. Uh, and you know, we deliberately, again, turned it into an academic piece. And, 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 you know, and, and Ray and Simeon and, and, and Fran and the whole team have worked incredibly hard uh, to arrive at something that we believe is worthy. You know, Because this isn't just something that's been knocked up. Uh, it's something that's been developed over a long period of time with a lot of research and a lot of work. And it's important because otherwise we're not going to be establishing the best practice in the industry that we know is important. They are the key authors. Uh, um, they're going to be on the panel very shortly. Um, some very nice photographs there. They've obviously all aged slightly since then, but uh, you know they also look they, uh, they all look fantastic and lovely. You notice I didn't have a photograph before because you know I've aged very very fast. Um, we've also got lots of lots of great contributors. Um, I, I, you know I don't particularly want to pull out anybody, but I will. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it's, it's great. We've got TFL, for example, uh, who've, who've, who've been very involved. Uh, Christopher Wobbelov from BT, I see in the back there with his Google Glass on. And please, uh, he's filming everything that's going on at the moment, so you've been warned. Um, and uh, we've got uh, lots of academics there. We've got Rory Sutherland from the Ogilvy Group. You know, again, this is, has been deliberately a broad collaborative panel. That's the important point about this. This is an industry collaboration. This is not a partisan organization. This is an open collaborative body. That's the important thing about it. 
So I'm now um, going to pass over to our main uh, London Business School man, Mr. Paddy Barwise, um, as I say, uh, who's, who's, we've been very lucky to have Paddy so involved in this programme. Paddy's going to say a few words uh, before we then go into the seven key points, uh, which James and Simeon will run through. And then we're going to go into a panel discussion, which I'm uh, pleasure to say that Paddy is going to facilitate. So, Paddy, over to you. Thank you.